So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this Dane finds me? Now his daughter had been stealing off. Is it safe to ride to Norfolk now? Yeah! 
get him! Don't let them get away! Sick of trouble! That's enough! used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I heard the dame has friends in the south. It was no oh, and a giant fish! fish. Fall from the ship. You there! Fancy a drop the right to confiscate any objects. For Not another step, branded. Or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been soured by a branded's touch. Spices from the faraway deserts of Dalton. How much for this one? Are you gonna buy something or not? And what can I do for you? even that much of my time branded my mistake no mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you the flowers Otto always did know how to please me more than Sid ever did anyway do you think you could please me Clive you're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred, Cleontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, 
His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the veil already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame. You look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder? It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. 
and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably start here. but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but... The guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. to confiscate any objects. Come, treat yourself. Well, how about a plum for the apple of your eye? I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. No burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, especially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should 
cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. You say these are all... There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflamme's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. That's the day done then. have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you, as will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Sergeant's got it in for us too. As if it... <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? 
I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. 